Yeah, hi there. My name is Andreas. I'm the owner of Total Composites based in Victoria, BC. And we supply private customers and commercial customers with empty, flat-packed camber body shells like this one based on a Mitsubishi Fuso. This camber has a 15-foot body, is R20 insulated, has around a weight range of MTS, you see it, at around uh, 600 kilograms, which is 1,200 pounds. Um, we carry insulated entry doors with a double uh, locking mechanism, double rubber seal, so a lot better than what you see in regular RVs. Uh, all the camber bodies are made out of fiberglass composites. That means there's no wood in there, there's no, uh, no material in there that can rot, expand or, or degrade over the years. We also don't have any thermal transfer. That means you're not getting any uh, condensation on the inside, uh, which makes it uh, true for season suitable. So you never have to worry about wiping down your walls and windows, you know, just in case it's getting too cold or too rainy or too damp. Then we have this one here. Uh, this one is based on a big Mercedes truck, was imported from Germany by the customer. The customer itself assembled this box himself and uh, is now in the process of outfitting it. So here we have another truck, that's my personal truck. It's a 2001 Mercedes Sprinter 4x4 crew cab, the only one in North America. Uh, we built this for our family, for our family travels to our needs. And let's go inside, let's check it out. Yeah, so welcome to our family travel truck. This is a 12-foot camber body, the total composites. Um, in the back here, you see a really comfortable U-shaped seating area. Uh, this transfers, uh, transforms into a queen-size bed with lowering the table, putting the backrests down, and you have a queen-size bed. Really, really comfortable. Uh, in, to keep everything well insulated, uh, we have our double-pane uh, acrylic windows that are European style so you can open them and use them even when it's raining you just leave them open and the rain doesn't come in really really handy feature um, on top of that we have a fly screen built in that keeps even the smallest bugs out uh, well proven um, and also you have the sunshade here to really blacken out the truck right if you want to have a nap during the day you close that up and it's pitch black dark in here really nice feature Okay, so it's worth mentioning that we, as Total Composites, we only supply you with a flat-packed empty camper shell, but we also guide and help our customers uh, through the process of building cabinetry and installing cabinetry. So for one example, uh, compared to a traditional kitchen cabinet installed, you know, where you ca screw cabinets against the wall, uh, this is something you should not do with the composite body. Instead, you just glue with our in-house adhesive your cabinets into place and they will never fall off. So the big difference or the big advantage is if you use adhesive to glue your cabinet into place is you avoid a point load uh, compared to a screw. If you, would, a sc if you put a screw through the fiberglass skin and through the cabinet, you would essentially pull the fiberglass skin off the foam core and create a uh, delamination. That means a structural failure. To avoid that, you use the adhesive and you get a way better spread and you spread the load and you can put anything you want on the wall, on the ceiling, on the floor, wherever you want. So our 
composite truck bodies, our commercial truck bodies and our camper bodies, they have been used all over the world with thousands of them in Australia, for example, in India, in the Philippines, and now also in North America. So we have a really good track record and everything we use is backed by German quality and German warranty too. So our system is based on these fiberglass extrusions. They are in-house made, uh, patented uh, through our business, through our company. And all you need to do to assemble those bodies is you apply adhesive in these glue channels, you take the panels, you stick everything together. It goes very quick and easy. Um, the floor panels, the front, the rear and the roof are all this thickness so it's three and a half inches thick and that makes the roof thick enough to be walked on so you can certainly take some load you can mount some solar panels on the roof uh, very easy just by gluing them down with some angle brackets you can put rooftop boxes up there i mean we even have customers that have a rooftop patio up there so that's possible too in addition to our camper bodies we are also offering additional accessories like diesel heaters, water boiler, windows, entry doors, uh, pass-through rubbers between the driver's cab and the camper body to outfit and finish your, your camper. So you call us, you most likely have it. Another really important part for an expedition truck is the subframe. So we are working together with Intercontinental Truck Body in Surrey, BC as our commercial partner and they construct and certify uh, articulating subframes which are really important because if you have an off-road going truck there will be a lot of frame twist and that twist needs to be compensated otherwise you either damage your truck or your camber body that twist is being offset with those spring mounts and every truck needs a different solution for that so there's no one size fits all this all needs to be custom made and ITB in Surrey is definitely your address for that. So the, here you see a 15 foot um, empty camper shell that could be yours for around 17,000 Canadian dollars. Um, not including the door and window, that goes extra, but you know, that's just how it goes. The, the subframe is another $7,000 and available through ITB in Surrey or contact us and we get you in contact with them. Here you see a 15 foot uh, empty camper shell. This one is available for roughly 16,500 Canadian dollars. Yeah, so if you have any questions or inquiries, please contact us under totalcomposites.com or you can also contact ITB at itb.ca. Hey comrades, don't forget to hit that like button and also leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you should by hitting that subscription button and also bell notification next to it. So you can actually get my video updates, both in notification and your video feed. And as well, you can support this channel if you like my videos through PayPal or Patreon in the links down below or just after this video.